Hi, my name is Jonathan Kaufman, and I'm at the Winship Cancer Institute of Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm here at ASH 2019 in Orlando, Florida, to talk about the four-year update of the Pollux study. Pollux was a study of the combination of daratumumab, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone compared to lenalidomide and dexamethasone alone. Very importantly, to go on this study, no patient could have had uh, um, could be refractory to lenalidomide even at maintenance doses. And so patients could have had prior lenalidomide but not be refractory and, um, at any dose. Um, th there were uh, over 250 patients in each arm, DARA Lendex versus Lendex, and preliminary results showed an improvement in, uh, in response rates and progression-free survival. At this four-year update, we now have the uh, median progression-free survival of the daratumumab Lendex, which was 45.8 months compared to 17 and a half months with lenalidomide and dexamethasone alone. A truly remarkable benefit from a progression-free survival standpoint. There are, there's one uh, subgroup I'd like to mention, and it's the group of patients who have high-risk disease. Um, and high-risk disease, whether the patient had high-risk disease or the patient had standard risk disease, there was a benefit. The median progression-free survival for the Lendex on the standard risk disease was 8.6 months, and the DARA Lendex for standard risk disease, the median progression-free survival was 52 months. In high-risk patients, we saw um, the same, um, the same, a similar benefit, not the same magnitude in terms of months, but a very significant benefit. The median progression-free survival for the Landex arm of high-risk disease was 8.3 months, and for the uh, high-risk and for the Dara Landex arm, it was 26.8 months. A very impressive, really tripling in what you'd expect with the combination of Dara Landex. We don't have overall survival data yet. Um, there is a numerical difference in the number of patients who have uh, uh, who are alive, and there's a 19 patient difference in the overall survival, and hopefully in our next year's update, we will, ha we will be able to present overall survival data. DARA lenalidomide and dexamethasone for patients who are not lenalidomide refractory is a standard of care for patients who have relapsed multiple myeloma.